Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is gonna be part number 21 in my Encursus tutorial series. Uh, today we're gonna to be covering the Delchar or Delcha or however you wanna call it, a function and its family of functions like W Delcha or W Delchar, Move Delchar and Move W Delchar. Um, so it should be a pretty short video. Uh, if you guys haven't seen my previous tutorials, I recommend checking those out first because there'll be a little bit of knowledge you guys will need ahead of time, but this one will be super basic, so. Anyways, let's just get started. So to begin with, I've got a very, very basic uh, template set up here where we have, we've included end curses, we have a main function, we start end curses, we wait for a character, and then we end curses. So this is kind of my base template for all end curses uh, files, just because you need init screen, you need end win. I added no echo here because most of the time I don't need to echo the characters I'm pressing, but you might not want that for all your programs, but. Then over here, I just have a very basic make file um, where we're just making our main.cpp file into an executable. Um, so if you guys want, you should probably copy this down and add that to your directory with your main.cpp file. And yeah, okay, I think we're ready to get started. So essentially delchar is a super simple method. Um, the base form of it works on standard screen just like most uh, functions in Encurses do. There's a basic one that works on standard screen. Uh, then you also have a um, windowed version, which starts with W. Um, so W del char, and it takes a window as its parameter. So I'll just create a window quickly here. So we'll say window star win uh, equals new win, and we'll do 10, 25, 5, 5, or something like that. That'll work. Um, and we'll throw a win in there. Uh, if you haven't seen my video on Windows yet, I re recommend going to check that out, but it's not really necessary for this video. So yeah, we can delete charge within a window. Then, um, so the way this works by default, it doesn't take any parameters, but it deletes the character, whatever the current cursor position is. Uh, for this one, it does it within the standard window. So for instance, just kind of like in my editor, you'll see, you'll see that my cursor is at the on the C character. So what, what this will do is it'll delete whatever character is under the cursor. So. That's why it doesn't take any parameters because it uses the position of the cursor. So it would basically do that. It would just delete the character C in this scenario. What it doesn't do is it doesn't like fill it with a space. It actually deletes it and everything to the right moves, shifts over one. So it kind of deletes it the way you'd expect an editor to delete something. Same, it works the same exact way in W del char, except um, it performs it within the window. So whatever the cursor within that window is set at, it'll delete that position. Then there's uh, two more functions, which are move delchar, which takes a Y and an X. I like to call it row and column, just cause it's easier for my brain to think like that. But so it'll, you basically pass it a row and a column that you want to delete at. So um, I'll just leave it like that for now um, to keep it generalized. Squiggly is just because row and column are not valid variables right now. We could, you know, and I'll just go up here and I'll create row and column. So I just created those variables so we don't get the squiggly lines. Then the final method or the final function that we have for delchar is move w delchar. And you'll see a pattern here, just like every other function in Encurses or most functions in Encurses, we have a w, a move, and a move w version of the function. So let me just set up an example here to show you guys this working in action. All right, so what I've done here is I've just created, I'm, I'm printing some text to the standard screen here. Um, and it's just, hello, this is some basic text. Then we're moving the cursor to position 0, 9, which should be this S right here. Um, and then we're going to delete the character at that position. So I'm also going to throw a git char in here so that way we can see it before and after. All right, so let's run that. Uh, make and run it. You'll see, hello, this is some basic text. If we hit a character, it will remove that S, just kind of like we were expecting. Now, this is using a separate move and delchar call, but we can actually combine these into a single move delchar call like that. Um, and so we'll say 09. And I can get rid of this row column thing here now. This should achieve the same exact result. So if you go in here, you'll say, hello, this is some basic text. And I'll remove the S because we're just doing the move and the delete within one call. So cool. And then what we could also do is we could say W print W and we could print this within our window do a w get char and i'm also going to throw a box around this so we can actually see what's going on here um and that will also require me to oh so in order to get this to work properly we'll do a move uh one oops, one one and then i want to make sure that this is big enough so i think with 
50 should be plenty. So W get char win, do a refresh, W refresh just to be super safe here, make sure everything shows up. And um, we'll do move W del char win. And if we want to delete that same character, I'm going to have to move down one and move over one because we're accounting for the border. Okay, so this should be pretty much the same exact example, but we're um, going to be within a window instead. And I'm going to actually start this at position zero, zero, just so we keep everything on the screen. So if we make and run this now, yeah, so everything's set up as we expected. So we created our window, we print it within our window. Then if I press a character, looks like it didn't work, probably just an error on my part. Oh yeah, so down here I need to do a W get char so that way we refresh the window because you get one for free. So you'll see, just as we expect, it deletes the character, everything shifts over, including the border. So that's something to keep in mind when you're printing or when you're deleting within windows is that the border is basically just a character that's been printed on the screen. So if you delete something, you have to account for the fact that the border is gonna shift as well. That's expected behavior, that's not a bug. That's just how it works. Basically, Delchar deletes the character and shifts everything over. Very simple. Simple is better though. Simple is a good thing. Okay, so that's pretty much Delchar and its family of functions. So um, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, consider giving it a thumbs up. Um, if you have any comments, questions, please leave those down below. I'll try to answer everything I can as long as it's, you know, something that makes sense or, um, it, you know, something I can answer easily enough. Um, and if you guys want to see more videos like this, consider checking out my old videos and subscribing. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.